January 2nd, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Matthew, Chapter 2, New Testament. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem, in Judea, in the time of King Herod, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, saying, Where is the one who is born King of the Jews? For we saw his star when it rose, and have come to worship him. When King Herod heard this, he was alarmed, and all of Jerusalem with him. After assembling all of the chief priests and experts in the law, he asked them where the Christ was to be born. In Bethlehem of Judea, they said, for it is written this way by the prophet. And you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are in no way least among the rulers of Judah. For out of you will come a ruler who will shepherd my people, Israel. Then Herod privately summoned the wise men and determined from them when the star had appeared. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and look carefully for the child. When you find him, inform me so that I can go and worship him as well. After listening to the king, they left, and once again the star they saw, when it rose, led them until it stopped above the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they shouted joyfully. As they came into the house and saw the child with Mary, his mother, they bowed down and worshipped him. They opened their treasure boxes and gave him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. After being warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they went back by another route to their own country. After they had gone, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream and said, Get up, take the child and his mother, and flee to Egypt, and stay there until I tell you, for Herod is going to look for the child to kill him. Then he got up, took the child and his mother during the night, and went to Egypt. He stayed there until Herod died. In this way, what was spoken by the Lord through the prophet was fulfilled. I called my son out of Egypt. When Herod saw that he had been tricked by the wise man, he became enraged. He sent men to kill all the children in Bethlehem and throughout the surrounding region from the age of two and under, according to the time he had learned from the wise men. Then what was spoken by Jeremiah the prophet was fulfilled. A voice was heard in Ramah, weeping and loud wailing, Rachel weeping for her children, and she did not want to be comforted because they were gone. After Herod had died, an angel of the Lord appeared in a dream to Joseph in Egypt, saying, Get up, take the child and his mother, and go to the land of Israel, for those who were seeking the child's life are dead. So he got up and took the child and his mother and returned to the land of Israel. But when he heard that Archelaus was reigning over Judea in place of his father Herod, he was afraid to go there. After being warned in a dream, he went to the regions of Galilee. He came to a town called Nazareth and lived there. Then what had been spoken by the prophets was fulfilled, that Jesus would be called a Nazarene. God, thank you so much for protecting your only son, for putting people in his life and sending angels to protect him. God, you send so much into our life every single day to protect us. Yet we're still so adamant about doing things our way instead of your way. Knowing the whole time that your way is so much better and you will always do what is best for us. God, as we go on our way today and, and the world comes at us from all different sides, protect us. Protect us from the world. Protect us from, from things that are not of you. Just cover us with your love. Wrap your arms around us and protect us today, God. 
We love you so much. In your son's name we pray. Amen.